just when you think my collection couldn't get any bigger, it does. Hello friends and fans, this is Thomas08000 here and I'm back with a very special video. For in this video, I'm showing you the newest items to my collection. Both loose and new in box from a little place called Totally Thomas Town. As you can see here by this card. Now, what is Totally Thomas Town, you might be asking? Well, Totally Thomas Town is a specialty website that sells both new and used Thomas products. They used to have a store, but it was closed down. Now, they have just the website. But still, it's an amazing website, and you can find a ton of great stuff on their website. And like I said, it's both new and used. And recently, I ordered some stuff from Totally Thomas Town to add to my ever-growing collection. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything. Originally, I had planned to do an unboxing video showing off everything coming out of basically this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is basically like tissue paper. <laughs> I think it's tissue paper. I don't know. My brain's not working today. <laughs> but, like I've said many times before, when is it ever? Uh, but yeah, I was originally going to do an unboxing video, but yeah, I was just too tired and I was just too excited to see the stuff come out of that box, so I didn't do it. But right now I got some time and <laughs> I've had some rest. Not a whole lot, as you can tell. <laughs> but still, more than enough to allow me to go ahead and do this video. So without any further ado, let's get into the items. We're starting off with this very nice card here you get with the packaging. Really cool. And on the back, it says, thank you so much, enjoy heart. And there's the Totally Thomas Towns website in case you guys ever want to check it out. I definitely recommend checking it out because it is amazing. Now in the package, apart from the stuff I had ordered, Believe it or not, there were a few additional pieces that I was not expecting. Such as this sticker, Eek, which has the most unique CGI Thomas face I have ever seen in my entire life. Oh, and in case you're wondering where Totally Thomas Town is located, it's in Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada. And no, guys, I'm not that close to it. I live in Northern Ontario. I'm a long ways off from British Columbia. I've never even been there. But yeah, you also get that uh, little card in there for Totally Thomas Town. In fact, let's see if I can get it out. Yeah, just contact info, that sort of thing. I'll actually keep the card. You never know. I may want to pass it on to someone else who may be interested in Thomas stuff. Now, another interesting item they actually gave me was this. An all aboard since 1945 Frisbee. It's a little Thomas Mini Frisbee. <laughs> what do you think of that? Honestly, I think that is amazing. I had no idea this item even existed. And guaranteed, guys, you're going to see this in the museum update video. And that will be the next video, guys. I've decided to go ahead and do that for the next video. Yeah. But hopefully I can get it out before I go away on my next trip, which is just six days away from now, at the time of filming this video. <laughs> Another interesting item they sent me is a mini Thomas. Now, when I got the package open and saw this Thomas for the first time, I was thinking to myself, what in the world is this Thomas? It was only later that night I realized that this, my friends, is the Pop Art Thomas. Yes, this is a 2018 released mini. And, surprise, surprise, it was in my package. It was along with that sticker, by the way. So, all I can say is thank you, Totally Thomas Town. It's a really nice item to have. And I certainly did not have a Pop Art Thomas in my loose collection. So, yeah, I'm extremely happy to have this Thomas. It's got some nice graphics on him. Looks really nice. Mm -hmm. And he is a good roller. Yeah. So, Pop Art Thomas. A really cool 
really useful engine. Now, before we get on to all of that in the background, I want to show you this. Yep, I got me some track. Wooden railway track, to be exact. Yes, I've got me tons of wooden railway tracks. And sorry about the crashing sounds there. <laughs> but yes, I got some wooden railway tracks, namely straight ones, because if you recall back in my 2017 running video, or running session video, yeah, there we go. Got my brain. Focus out. Uh, I didn't have a lot of wooden railway tracks. I mean, granted, yes, I had a lot of tracks, granted, but not really enough. So, yeah, I wasn't able to do a very big layout. But now, I can. Now, a lot of these pieces, I believe, are the later years wooden railway tracks. I'm saying that because underneath these said tracks are road pieces. But there's also some in here that are not Thomas Wooden Railway related. Oh, actually they are. But, oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, it's just some of the railroad ties are faded. I didn't even notice that till now. <laughs> but still, they fit nicely together. And really, I can't wait to just put them all together and make a very nice and impressive wooden railway setup, which I hope to do before Christmas. Kind of uh, like I did with the last one, you know? Because that one was made prior to Christmas. So, surprise, surprise. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but yeah, the wooden railway track is a really nice addition to have and will make the layout much better. There we go. Finally, I got it right. All right, now on to the actual items I ordered, apart from the track. Here is a 2010 Take and Play Thomas the Tank Engine. You want to take a wild guess how much I paid for this one? Okay, I've let you guys wait long enough for the answer. If you all guessed under a dollar, you are correct. This cost me 75 cents. Yes, 75 cents to get this Take and Play 2010 Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. I'll admit he's got some damage here and there, like on the top of his roof, along the edges of his roof, and all that stuff. But the face is good. The color still looks good. And you know what? It really does look great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm extremely happy to have this model in my collection. Now, I do have the 2010 Talking Take and Play Thomas, and I do have this style of Thomas in packaging, but I've always wanted to get the standard version for my collection. Well, now I have them. Now I have them. Anyway, let's have a good look at Thomas here. That is a really, really nice face. I've always liked this face a lot better than the later take and play versions. Don't get me wrong, it was a good face, just I always like this one better. His iconic number one on the side, and he's got an open cab too, which was standard for the take and play 1.0s. That's why I call these ones. Basically, these are 1.0s, and the ones with the newer wheels later on by the old style magnets are take and play 2.0s, and the ones with round magnets and new wheels are take and play 3.0s. Yeah. But still... Thomas looks great, and his stripes on there are 3D, and unlike his take-along version from years ago, his whistle is actually painted in gold, not bright yellow. So how cool is that? Let me turn Thomas over, and it says this was made in 2009. Made in China. And Mattel. Mm-hmm. So yeah, how amazing is that? 75 cents for a used Take and Play Thomas. Some slight damage here or there, but you know what? He still looks good, and he looks the part. Yeah. Thomas the Tank Engine from Take and Play. Now brace yourselves, here's a really rare piece. This, my friends, is the Bandai Dodge. Yes, Totally Thomas Town actually does sell Bandai Thomas toys. And Dodge is one of them. 
I chose Dodge because I have honestly never seen this model in person. Not at all. I've seen pictures on the internet, but I've never actually seen one. And I've never held one in my hands. Until now. So yeah. We've got Dodge. That is a really nice face. And the front is highly detailed. And those, by the way, are the Bandai style couplings. Now what's unique about Dodge here is the fact that he actually has stairs at the front. None of my other Dodge models ever had stairs. Not the Ertles, not the wooden railways. Um, I don't know if Tomy and Trackmaster ever put stairs on Dodge, but um, if they did, I might have missed them. But then again, I don't actually own models from both Tomy or Trackmaster, so what do I know? But that is a really nice touch. And then, of course, you get this nice detail, which isn't painted on. It's 3D textured. It's 3D textured. Though Dodge's name is a sticker. But still, the detail is amazing. And it still continues on to the base with its side rods and all the wonderful detail down below. It really makes him look like a Class 08 shunter, doesn't it? And he actually has an open cab, but you can't see too much. You can still see onto the inside. Nothing on the back end, but the other side still looks great. And actually, the sticker looks a lot better on that side. And I swear there's a piece of hair there. Pfft. Typical. Yeah, the sticker is nicely printed on there. Nice details on the roof. Even though there isn't too much. And there's some info down here at the bottom which says this was made in 2001. And actually, if we look even closer, you can see that it was made in Japan. So I'm actually holding a tank, or not taken play, what am I saying? I'm actually holding a Bandai Japanese Thomas train. Something I never thought I'd ever do. I mean, granted, I have Ertl style Bandai trains in my collection, like Edward, James, Percy, and Thomas. But Dodge, he's in a whole other category by himself, just for the sheer fact that he was made in Japan, and it is properly Bandai. So, honestly, how cool is that, ladies and gentlemen? Do you like Dodge? Are you screaming for him right now? <laughs> I bet you are. I know I was when I got him out of the packaging. Yeah. A really cool model. Now, for those of you who love the wooden railway, here's a real interesting piece. It's Molly, an engine I've never had in my wooden railway collection, not in the museum, and certainly not loose. This is the only version there is of Molly. Well, that and the Talking Railway series version of her. But apart from those, Molly has never been reintroduced into the Fisher Price Wooden Railway range. And honestly, I don't know if Thomas Wood's going to bring out Molly into the range. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know. Only time will tell. Anyway, you can see Molly has a very nice face. A little bit bigger than her smoke box, but that's the original design of Molly. The later version had a smaller face on the front of the smoke box, which actually does suit her a lot better. Anyways, you can tell she has two front wheels and four driving wheels. She's got some very nice details, and by the way, it is smooth on here. Very smooth. She's in really good condition, this Molly. And guaranteed, you will see her in a future running session video. There's her name on the bottom. And as you can tell, too, not only do the driving wheels swivel, but the front wheels swivel, too. That is really cool. Really, really cool. I'm going to move Molly to the side here. And we'll look at her tender, which actually has lining all around it. They could have just left one end blank, but they didn't. They didn't. They went all out on this tender. There's the detail on the top, including the 3D coal. And the name on the bottom, Molly's Tender. 
And for interest's sake, I'm going to bring over the wooden railway track I got, or I showed you earlier, and run Molly on it. How amazing is that? <laughs> oh yeah, Molly, the Claude Hamilton engine. And in real life, a 440. So, honestly, she is a good-looking engine. <laughs> I can't believe, though, it's taken me this long to get my hands on a wooden railway molly. Well, she's here now in all of her glory. Yeah. And in great condition, too. I'm sure if I found another version of her, she'd probably be all beat up. But that's because she's been handled with love. Yeah. Anyway, I'll get the track out of the way, because I don't think we're going to need it for a while. Until towards the end of this video. Nope, not that one yet. <laughs> this next item is a specialty. And one I was hoping to find this year. You know, considering I went to Dale with Thomas earlier this year, and I got the Wood Thomas version of Thomas for Dale with Thomas. That is one too many Thomases. <laughs> But anyway, yes, I got the 2019 model, and a few years back, I got the 2015 model. And I've been hoping to find the others. Well, I found one. This is the 2013 Dale with Thomas coach. With Sir Topham Hat riding on board. And with many happy visitors. There's the Dale with Thomas logo there for 2013. Hmm. Really cool. I'll admit there's a couple of scratches here or there, but it's not too bad, really. And considering how old this coach is, that is amazing. Oh, and you can just see a silhouette of Sir Topham Hat right there. <laughs> really nice. Really nice. And I gotta say, it looks a lot better than the wood Annie and Clarabelle. You know, with one part of the wood basically cut out for one single passenger. That's why I've never collected them. Nope. Not too fond of those coaches. But I like these ones because they're complete. Yeah. And it says, Day with Thomas 2013. And let's see if I can get the wheels to actually show it. I think it's right there. I'm not sure. I have to have a closer look at it myself. Hmm. Where's the date? Ah, there it is. Yeah, and get some light on it. You might actually see it says 2012 release. Or at least those are the 2012 wheels. Yeah, so that's proof that it is a Fisher Price release. Honestly, I wish I had gotten the coach in 2013, but hey, better late than never, right? And honestly, it is a great coach to have. And guaranteed, you will see this coach along with my Wood Thomas from the 2019 range and the 2015 car together one day in the future. And hopefully with a few other interesting pieces to go along with them. Now, we can move on to this engine. And this one is a rare one. One I have never held in my hands and honestly, I never bothered looking for it. Wish I did. This is Reneus. But no ordinary Reneus. This is Reneus's new coat of paint from the short-lived one-year release of Tomy's Wooden Railway. Yes, this is a Tomy Wooden Railway piece. It's a little beat up, I'll admit. But considering how rare these models are, I'm glad to at least have one. If I do come across a much better version, then yeah, I will get it. But I'll still keep this one because I do like it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's Reneus's face. I must say that uh, for the Tommy Wooden Railways and the last year of Learning Curves Wooden Railway range, the CGI faces were not so great. Diesel's was okay. And the narrow gauge engines got the best faces, though the steam team... Well, I'll come back to that later. Yeah, Reneus has a good face there, and he's got a lot of details. Something the Fisher-Price version has forgotten about. For one, the coal bunker, and the side rods on the side. So I still like the Fisher-Price version. Though in case you're wondering, do I have one loose? No, I don't. Just 
inbox. But still, Reneas has a lot of nice details there. As you can see, it has nameplates in blue this time. So is his number two. And the lighting is actually shiny too. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's just a trick of the light. Who knows? And there's Reneas' cab. Now one thing you'll find on Tommy Wooden Railway Trains is buffer beams on the back. Yes, Tommy Wooden Railway had introduced that to us. Now I really wish I had gone after these models because they were highly detailed and impressive. There's a little circle on top of Reneas' dome. I would say that's for uh, the safety valves, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And underneath here, it says Reneas' coat of paint. Tommy UK. Oh yeah, a little scratched up, but still an impressive looking model. And you know what, for interest's sake, I'll bring back the wooden railway track, and we'll run Reneas on it. Really, really cool. I have not seen any of the other Tommy Wooden Railway narrow gauge engines, but guaranteed, if I do spot them, I will collect them, including Reneas in his original livery. Though there has, there's something to be said about the uh, yellow livery. It is impressive to look at. And it was funny too that he was actually painted yellow at the end of Bluebound Mystery. Spoiler alert in case you haven't seen the movie, but it's been a few years, so I think everybody's seen it by now. Yeah. Still a really cool piece to have in my collection. And my speech is getting messed up. Oh well, moving on. We have the Fisher Price 2013 Wooden Railway Thomas. And best of all, not a single scratch on the model. Not one. Not one. This is a perfectly mint condition Thomas. So now I can properly say I have a Fisher Price Wooden Railway Thomas in my loose collection. Yeah. So, yeah, I really do have one now. I got it because, well, I didn't have one. And I just want to collect as many pieces as possible before they're all gone. Because I'm pretty sure wooden railway collectors out there are going to be on the hunt for these trains. I mean, granted, there's a lot of people out there that do have tons and tons and tons of Fisher Price Wooden Railway Standard Thomases because, you know, he was available in a lot of sets. But, you know, I never did go after any of them except for one in, as a standard. Then there's the Rolling Whistle. Uh, i trying to think of all the other ones I have. Well, there's Battery Operated, the Engine Gift Pack version. I honestly can't remember them all, but one day I will show off all those pieces. One day. But yeah, I never had one loose. So when I saw this on Totally Thomas Town's website, I figured, okay, I better get one for myself. Then at least I can say I have an updated version of Thomas in the CGI era for the wooden railway. And yeah, also to do a comparison with this model and the Thomas Wood version, which I may do one day. <laughs> yeah, just show off all of my wooden Thomases. Maybe one day. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I've done enough talking there. Let's actually have a good look at Thomas here. That CGI face is spot on. It's perfect. I mean, seriously. That is a really good looking Thomas face. The sides here kind of reminisce about the what are kind of reminiscent of the old Thomas Wooden Railway by Learning Curve. Still has that classic number one there in his wheel arch. Stripes on top of his boiler. His dome's right there. I'm not sure if that's plastic or wood. Feels kind of wooden to me. Still looks impressive. No details on the back. But still looks really impressive. Thomas. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, jeez, I didn't even notice this. He actually has lips in his wheels. Can you guys see that? Huh. Okay. So I would say this one was released around 2015, early 2016-ish. I would say that because that's when the new lips in the wheels started coming out. Or it could have been a 2014 release. I don't know. <laughs> Still, I like this Thomas, and I'm very happy now to have him in my collection.